Rosinity Woodworks and today I want to take just a few moments to go through the most recent Timu purchase. I've got a couple things related to woodworking type of projects that I would like to have either here at our office shop or a home shop mine. So we're going to go ahead and dig right in and see what we have here. So it will be okay. So if we look at the packaging here, this is typical of what you're going to get. Not a lot of big items in this one, but it's going to be some type of bag wrapped with Timu tape, of course, and we'll just dive right in. Really, just it's just a thin packaging. Let's see what we've got here. Let's just open this up so it's easier to take a good visual. So that's what our packaging looks like. This first thing, since it's on top, I want to try this. This is a craft mat. So what that is, obviously, as you're sitting it on a tabletop surface, if you're doing painting or anything like that. Um, it's an easy cleanup. But what I had in mind is just as I set some things on my laminated, and I probably can't hear over that rattle, as I set some things on my laminated uh, T track at, uh, at my home office or even here, you know, as you move things around and you clean, you don't want to scratch up the surface, or, you know, if you're sanding, you don't want it vibrating all over the place. So this was just to see do we like it? If we like it, is it something that we would buy again in the future? Um, First glance, I really like it. It's got a good, good feel to it. That feels good. That feels good. That feels good. Um, it's about the thickness of a placemat. Uh, you can kind of see as I'm moving around the level of flexibility. Um, I wouldn't call it flimsy. It is thin. Probably credit card thickness somewhere in there. But I like that. I think that you you'll be able to set some stuff on there, and it's not going to shift around, especially as it clings to a really smooth surface. I like this. I don't see any reason why this is going to be a problem. One side's a little bit more of a matte. The other side has a little bit more sheen to it, as you can see here. Um, probably the sheen side is going to go towards a shinier, smooth surface as well that you put it on. I think that's a that's a good find. I like that. So let's set that aside. Okay, here these are some little indoor temperature gauges. Now I think. Yeah, it looks like it's got the little pull here to activate the battery. Yeah, so that's going to give the temperature readout. Yeah, it looks to be good. Uh, these weren't too too expensive. I don't remember the cost off the top of my head, but I'll I'll share that here. You can see it somewhere down below, but I'll share that with you. But that looks to be a good little find. What I had in mind for these is in my, in the shop here, in my shop at home. I just want to be able to build a little plate, put these on the wall. Um, I could put this into my little dry erase board thing so that I can see it, but I want to see what the temperature is. So a lot of the things that we might do with whether it's contact cement or things that require cure times, having an accurate temperature reading um, at least gives you an idea of whether or not, hey, it's a go or no go on this project. So I, I think I have several of those. I'm not going to open all of them. Yeah, three, uh, three is I believe what I purchased there, so that looks right. So we'll set that aside. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at this, this anemometer. So I have a couple of projects that I want to test and see what the wind speed is at my home office. So I've got a central vac set up there upstairs and I've got some long hose. If you've seen some of the other videos, you may know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I have a little bit of head loss. <laughs> well, I assume it's a little bit. It could be more, but I want to do some hard piping before and after and use this to see if it's indeed we and we should see some dramatic impre improvements in our suction and being able to keep uh, the vacuum working effectively. So we're going to use that for that particular project. Ah, here are... Here are my spikes. Okay, so really I, I came across these just looking around for something else and thinking that these might work because I've wanted to find spikes to be able to use. I do a lot of um, like little agility poles and things for sports and athletic training and so I want to be able to take like some existing PVC um, and whether I heat it and mold it to fit here on the stake and be able to drive it in. That's what I had in mind to be able to see now. 
might be a little dangerous on the soccer field. So we'll, we'll have to determine the safe use of that. But that was a pretty inexpensive buy. Um, and it may work well for camping stakes. I think that's what it is labeled for in the product purchase uh, or description. But you can see it's um, pretty, you know, significant piece of aluminum. It's got uh, just the four flange or three flanges. And then it's got a section here at the top that kind of notches inward. Obviously got a sharp point. And in the packet, I believe there are 10, I believe. I it gives a quantity. Uh, it says eight. And I always love the descriptions that they have in here. Again, this one says it's silvery for five to eight people. So silvery for five to eight people. At this point is a thumbs up. I like that. This one, I've been waiting on this one a little bit because it's replacing another Timu purchase that I made uh, last time. And I like the value of these squares. And for what I use, I'm not doing the fine detail work that many of you may be. So you can frown upon this purchase if you'd like. But it's just a 300 millimeter square, marking square. The one I had before, and the reason why I changed, because that's one thing, and it's not just Timu, it's Amazon as well, where there's so many different manufacturers. And so what you, when I went, initially went on there, I just didn't realize that so many different manufacturers were doing the same things. And so there's probably 15 different manufacturers that are doing some version of this red anodized aluminum T-square, or not T-square, but the square, marking square. So this is a 300 millimeter version. Um, it measures 300 millimeters on one full side. That doesn't mean you have 300 millimeters from where the square moves forward. So this one, the reason why I selected it, it has three Allen head screws here at the intersection. The one I had before, I bought, I bought three now. This is the third one. The first one I had had Allen head screws here. It was a little bit out of square, so I was able to loosen those up, tighten it back down, get it in the square, works perfectly. The second one I purchased was a solid piece unit. Unfortunately, I'm having to return that one. In the length of 300 millimeters, it's probably only off by a millimeter to half a millimeter, so it's not much, but it's enough that I just don't want to have something there that doesn't do what it's supposed to do. The, the fundamental feature of this square is to first and foremost be square. So be square. I think everything looks good. I was able to test uh, the thermometer, so that seems to work well there. We'll test the anemometer, get a battery in it. I don't think it comes with a battery. Um, it's a lithium, or it's a three volt battery in there. It may be a disc battery that it has. But we'll test that as well. But from everything I see, I would give this a thumbs up. So, And I think that's the one thing that I will caution about when you purchase with Timu is you're going to get hit or miss and what i'd encourage you to do is look at all the reviews now i do have a video about reviews being suspect because i had a bad experience posted the review and you it's next to impossible to find there so it's buried very deep um, in terms of the review and rating structure so i caution you to look through the reviews um, if you look through them and a lot of them say good product haven't used yet to me that's a little suspicious okay and a lot of times what you can do is find the very same product and this is a good example of one find the very same product on Amazon I personally think the Amazon reviews are more legitimate um, and I base it off of that so a lot of times the purchase I make may be a parallel something that I find on Amazon that's the same thing on Timu by and large 95% of what I buy is Amazon so Timu is a rare purchase it's not every day, but I am finding some value on some things that I use to duplicate in both my shops. And this is a good way for me to be able to maximize that purchasing power if I need something here at this shop and I need something at my home shop too. So hopefully you can find some value in this. Thank you for staying tuned and we'll get more details on each of these products so you can determine is it something that you want to purchase yourself. Thank you very much.